I'm seeing a lot of posts and um, blog posts and people sharing things about what can you do as a person who is not black to support. Um, being put out by a lot of other people who are white. Um, and I feel like it's great. I feel like it's exactly what we need. Um, I'm going to share some of those same things on my blog, um, which I'll link you guys to so that if you need them, they're there. But that's not what this particular video is all about. This video is going to talk a little bit about the ways in which you as a white person can help us that starts at home. Um, it's not enough to donate. It's not enough to post Black Lives Matter. It's not enough to um, just be publicly with us and against racism if you haven't committed yourself to doing the actual work that it takes to change things. And so I'm going to give a couple tips that I think are extremely helpful. And believe me when I tell you that I'm, I'm reading these messages and no matter how much hurt and sorrow that I'm feeling like all black people are feeling right now, I see it and I receive it and I appreciate every message and I appreciate every single person. So the first thing I'm going to say is before you decide, okay, well, I'm going to get behind this cause, you really do have to self-reflect. That's the first thing. Self-reflect and ask yourself, if I'm just now realizing that I need to be an ally, right? Then what are the things that I have ignored, the things that I have assumed about people of color, the things that I have just let go and didn't say anything about what are the parts of myself that have supported this what are those parts so that means uncovering and getting all in the nasty parts like getting in the most uncomfortable parts of yourself and asking yourself how have i supported this is there something that i you know that i think that's un untrue where did it come from this is the kind of work that usually it takes years to do but it's the first thing you have to do before deciding I'm going to be an ally, you know, and just posting about it. I think the next thing that has to be done is committing yourself to being the very vocal white friend, no matter what that means. That means if you're with a group of your friends and that everybody's white and somebody says or does something that ain't right, don't be afraid to be the person that calls it out. You've got to create a new identity for yourself. Like, you know what? Damn it, Uncle Tony, I'm not allowing you to be racist every time I see you. I don't care what it is because allowing that kind of thing is what keeps this going. Being quiet, thinking, oh God, they annoy me with their racism. Not saying a word is why this is still going on. It's so many people feeling like, well, you know, what can I do? And that person's just ignorant. Yeah, but you have a voice. You're in the middle of a crowd of white people, meaning that you can speak up. There's not a black person there to do it. Commit yourself to being that person, right? Sorry. To write a note. I am using every piece of energy that I have to get this out, but I think it's important. You gotta get comfortable being uncomfortable. That means that the conversations you need to have with your friends who are white, they're gonna be uncomfortable. The conversation you might need to have with your boyfriend might be uncomfortable. Your mom, dad, whoever. This is not an easy thing to do. This is not an easy position to take. If you've decided, you know what, F that, I'm no longer allowing racism to have any, it's not, not gonna be around me and I'm gonna fight to get rid of it so we don't end up here in 20 years, then your uncomfortability uh, means nothing. You can't be scared to speak out. You can't be like, what are people gonna think about me? What are people gonna say? I'm gonna lose my friends. Those aren't your friends if they have a problem with you speaking up for what's right. So I don't care if you're an introvert, I don't care if it's not your normal thing or if it ma matches an identity that you don't truly own yet make it your new identity make it a part of who you are because it's the only way to truly be an ally to us after you realize 
how much you haven't seen or done, you're going to see it a lot more in the world around you. You're going to start picking it up and being like, hold up, that's wrong. And when you start doing that, you're going to naturally start to be like, okay, I'm going to do this, this, and this, and other people will start following your lead. And that's the thing. People say to me all the time, I don't have an audience big enough. You, If you go to brunch, baby, that table's big enough. You get what I'm saying? Nobody's saying that you have to be a social justice activist. Just use your own circle. Use your own life as the start of where this change starts to happen. And call it out in your industry, but also look at your business. If I go to your site and your whole team, are you hiring any black people? And I'm not talking about in a diversity initiative. I'm talking about, are you seeking out talented black people for real? If the last 30 people that have worked as freelancers for your business are all white, what are you doing, boo? Is your company setting aside funds to create scholarships for young black entrepreneurs or young black women who want to go to school to do what you're doing? Are you creating opportunities for a race of people who have been disenfranchised for so long? So yes, you can watch movies, you can read books, you can educate yourself. I recommend that you do that. I do. But I want you to know that it's not just what you're doing out there that's going to make a difference. I had a person tell me that they felt uncomfortable speaking out against racism because they felt like they would be disrespectful to their friends and family in law enforcement. And I know that there are a lot of people who feel that way. It's important for you to understand that this fight is not against police. This fight is against racism. That's what it's about. And if you need to articulate that to your friends who are cops and they have a problem with it, When you look at your own business and the way that you're affecting the whole entire world, there are things that you can do outside of educating yourself and they make the most huge difference. Some people in my life who were um, influential as I was growing up, they didn't stand up for me as a young black woman like they could have. And there are so many of you out there who think that you don't, there's nothing you can do. Who am I as a white person to say this? Like, who aren't you? If you have children, make sure that they're not being raised in a way that makes them passive when it comes to racism. Raise anti-racist children. Do they understand what it even is to be black in this country? What have you talked to them about? Um, I really hope that this was helpful. I really hope that people who have truly made a commitment and not just looking at it as a way to get likes on social media, the people who truly in their heart of hearts are like, damn, I didn't know, I didn't realize. Those people, we need your voice. We need you, we need you to fight with us because we're tired. We are tired. We are literally beat down tired. We're, I'm tired of having to be in my car and thinking, making sure that I remember how to rehearse my lines if I get pulled over and how I will keep my hands on the wheel and not reach inside my purse to get my ID too quickly and be shot because they think I have a weapon. Understand, I'm not just, I'm not an activist. I am a coach. I am a person, a black woman who has experiences that you wouldn't believe, but so do your black friends. Talk to them, ask them. Don't say, hey, is there anything I can do? Because now you're putting that burden on them. Talk to them about their experiences. Open it up, open it up. Make it not uncomfortable. Make it normal for you to talk to your other white friends about what it is in this country that's causing black people to have this experience. God dang it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not trying to be the person who is like not understanding because I know there's a lot of people out there who are ignorant. It's not that they're racist, it's that they're ignorant. 
And so you, as a white person, it's not my job to check them. You check them. You get in there and be like, hold up. It's not all lives matter, bro. Sorry. Ugh. Come over here. Let me have a talk with you. You do that. It's powerful. No matter how many people you get to, no matter how many people you know or affect or follow you on Instagram, this one little thing you say could change that person and it'll change the next person. I swear to God, I will go to my grave trying my very best to make sure that I don't have sons that are afraid to go jogging. And I'm telling you, it's not enough to be sympathetic. Oh my God, my black, I'm so sorry about this. Like, okay, but how are you stepping up tomorrow? Step up tomorrow, sis. Get up in front of your entire white audience that listens to you like this and speak on it. Say what I'm saying to them. That's how you make change happen. I know this video is probably all over the place and I know that it was, it's not rehearsed. It's not, I, I made some notes so that I wouldn't forget anything, but I'm telling you guys, this type of content, I want you to make one. I want you to go ahead make this same kind of thing and then put it out and then if you're white do it say it move through your circles and make this something that everybody is no longer turning their cheek to thanks for listening share the video i'm gonna keep it up on my stories and i'm gonna keep it on my igtv and i love you guys please stay safe out there please don't allow yourself to be out there putting yourself in danger because there's other people out there who aren't there for what you are. Take care. I love y'all.